Hello everyone and welcome to round 2 of the finals of Blind's Beta Cup with, between Duplex and Arkea. Omega Weapon still with me. Hey everyone. He did not go anywhere, I'm not letting him go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going anywhere. These games are too good. Who would want to go away? First engagement in Crossroads between Tain, Eagle Eye, Wyrie and Ice Belt. They will get the uh, Parasite on Wyrie. Tain taking a lot of damage, will get taken down by Wiry. Eagle Eye just scouting outside, will not engage. We also have an engagement in uh, Reactor Core. Oh, we got a quick Crag Hive. Joes. Yes, we do. Oh! What a uh, surprise! Maybe Ark is going for a quick Carapace upgrade here. Yeah, they're putting up the second RT and uh, Kravis. Very interesting play from Arkea. Maybe just planning on using their uh, skill advantage over their opponents. Well, don't forget that the uh, Carapace gives you 40 extra health, so that's 4 extra shots you need to take. Right, exactly. Just hoping that they will... Uh, be victorious in these uh, encounters. Yeah, because two two skulks with carapace can actually take damage as three skulks alone. Right, because that's 80 more HP total. Well, the skulk has level. 90 by default, so. Exactly. Oh, we got Ryan sneaking up. He will. He will just hide behind that uh, box as the Marines move into summit. We will chase behind, gets the parasite off on Ice Belt. They do, oh, Marines tree. do want to rush Kravis. They're trying to uh, put some pressure on these RTs. They will run into a lot of resistance here in Summit, however. As we have four of the Archaea team ready to combat them if they go into flight control. So they will be pushed out towards Kravis. Carapace is done. And with Kara done, we see uh, most of the art team evolving, getting that upgrade. So we'll see a very big engagement here in Crevis. As Eagle Eye will just jump in and try and flank, taking out Wiry. Icefall also going down, and Joe's following suit without any Arkea members being lost. Tequila will have uh, quite a handful here. We do have a phase gate in main. And PG in As sub. As mentions, there's a, a PG in sub. I think Blind's gonna be mad at him. <laughs> yes, he probably will. I don't know if we're supposed to be talking in team chat. That's one but of the rules, I think. Duplex taking control of sub access with this face gate. Meantime, they are losing the reactor core RT as well as the AE. Yes, they've, they've lost two RTs so far. Alien assisting up to Atrium. Aliens may be looking for that uh, second hive drop right about now. They do have extra rest, so they could go for it. There it and is. Now, and we do see that atrium hive drop. Eagle Eye going uh, gorge there, as you can see it. Yes, he will uh, heal up that hive as soon as possible. Yeah, and... We have a free marine push into flight control, though. Still trying to <laughs> harass this alien res. We do have comp lab under Three attack. Members. We'll push them back though. You see the power of carapace right there. Yes, yes you do. It's just superior HP. Well, look at that one boss Hydra trying to shoot that. Power node, but it's shooting the either Hydra instead. <laughs> oh, silly Hydras. Do have to like AI in the game. Yeah, it is kind of funny. So we have four Marines pushing towards Atrium for Reactor Core. Then we'll meet up with Fana and Ryan and Tane. Ready to uh, push them back if they. Uh, 
proceed into Atrium. We do need to see quick leap. An eagle eye coming in the back. And this is where the Marines lose. Yeah, that they do. They will be pushed back. Ice Belt is holding, trying to guard that base gate from the incoming aggression. We do, we do not see any upgrades. Meanwhile, we see Leap researching for Archaea. We need to see some upgrades come coming from Double X. We only have face deck currently for the Marines. And there we get Welder started. A really defensive play here. I think mines would have been a little bit more effective. Fana given coming the, in uh, as a lurk to sub. No, goes back to flight. Or duplex. Now we see push coming in. Now we see mines coming up immediately after welders. Oh, but light's gonna be taken in by surprise. Because those lurks hover yes. without flapping. And these Marines. Oh, and gets eaten alive. We'll get taken out. Banna showing us what that lurk normal damage does, yeah. and we'll take down that uh, base gate and sub, as well as that extractor. An RT. Uh, Meanwhile, the phase gate in reactor core also destroyed. Also yeah. Down. Duplex's expansion just completely crushed. By Archaea. The quick. We also notice that uh, drifter in between Atrium and Reactor Core really preventing any type of surprise attack. That Carapace really paid off early. Yes, it did, as uh, Arc has won pretty much every engagement since they have gotten Carapace. And Archaea sitting in the cozy tree rests. We might see uh, a shift tide come up here soon. Agreed. Also, look at them spending their P rest to defend all those rest nodes and the star dropping all those hydras. And they do not care about mm -hmm. the P rest anymore because, uh, well, if they got enough rest, they can drop fade eggs much quicker than they're going to get to the 50, 50 rest marker. Yes, yes, they can. And we might also see that coming as uh, we have yet. Oh, there we have. Uh, yeah, so that's shot. shift high upgrade. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh no, it wasn't the shift. It was actually, uh, uh, yeah, RPGs. one yeah. in comp lab and one in uh, Sabax. Mm -hmm. Just giving the aliens even more res flow. When aliens got four RTs yeah, and marines yeah. got two, you know there's something wrong for a marine team. Right, with uh, marines lost five. And the aliens only have lost one currently. They could even put another one up in Crossroads, as Crossroads has yet to be really touched by this marine team. They're focusing most of their aggression on reactor core and sub without really going into the middle of the map, and there we see a RT dropped in crossroads. I think we saw a shell dropped, I'm not mistaken. Regeneration might be. We lost a 15 res drop. Mm -hmm. Might be a drifter or two with that RT, I'm really not sure. They, the R team is really making great use of these drifters. Notice the drifters in comp lab coming from sub and from crossroads really preventing uh, any southern push on flight control without being noticed, as well as a drifter between Summit and Crossroads, really locking down flight control. We got aliens at 5 rest. The alien team will be sitting on 72 res, we might see an yeah. overside drop, and we do, immediately. We'll get where Eagle Eye is hiding. Sneaky skulk. And, uh, which 
which one of these aliens will go on us. An eagle, I guess, a kill there. Man, I'm I'm in love with the new camouflage effect. The pink one was just awful. It's no, no, that was no good. But this new one is um quite sexy, I must say. We're gonna stick with it, and there he goes. Scram is uh, on us, pushing for the reactor. And Scram will go. Marines in panic mode right now. Have a commander Onos, and he will take out all of those mines practically in reactor core. We see an armory drop in the reactor to uh, impede that Onos' movement. Very nice tactic from Duplex. Blink started. And we do have 366 res, so they cancelled the blink and I think they went for a shift, no? Yes, blink has been started. Um, they really need that as their fades should be on the field as team sitting there with 53 res. I think we don't need to see another fade, all we need to see is another Onas and it's pretty much a good game. We do have Skagen going... Uh, Skagen will be a fade. There's also enough rest for Tane. I also think we will see Tane as a yeah, fade. Yeah, he's setting on 55. Fana staying lurk and Scram staying. Ship five is on, so we might see a. Ryan will most likely go fade as well. <coughs> and I think the Doplex can pretty much GG at this point because there's no way yes, for coming. Yes, it um, really seems to be a downhill battle. You can't. Fight Onos with only weapons one, armor one, no Yeah, and Doplex realizes it and sells the base as you can hear it. And they immediately GG. Duplex not really being uh, that happy with the outcome of yeah, this Yeah, they did such an epic game versus Exertus, but yeah, I think it's Summit that That's is really the strong point of Archaea. Game. Because I, I think I never saw yes, Archaea well, losing with their standard tactic on Summit. It has been um, the most competitively played map, so they have a ton of experience yeah. here. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed this and see you in round three. Bye, everyone.